every once in a while i have observed a patient comes along who has no hesitation in narrating his experience of a hair transplant at darling buds clinic and recently one such person was mr kim from the united kingdom a well healed businessman running one of the biggest car agencies saskron supermarket and over to mr kim good afternoon uh, my name is kim choda i'm the owner of saskron car supermarket and i've just come to chandigarh to see dr bharti at darling buds to have a hair transplant uh, i've not I'm not getting paid in any way and I haven't had any discount unfortunately for doing this video but I'm very very pleased with Dr Barty and the team and I thought that I'd post the video for him, it's the least I could do to show my appreciation. Um, I had about 4,700 grafts, half was from my head, half from my beard and about 500 from my chest. To me it looks as though it's done very well, the team were great and Dr Barty done the work himself. Um, which is very unusual, especially in the, in the hair transplant world. But instead of going here for any reason, as you can see on my website for cost, it wasn't. It was because of the quality of the doctor and you're only doing it once. So uh, choose somewhere great like the Darling Buds. So before we discuss his case in greater detail, let me tell you about Mr. Kim. Mr. Kim is a 60 year old English gentleman who came to us 18 months back in 2022. As you can see in this picture, there is visible thinning over the scalp donor. He is a case of diffuse pattern alopecia. Not only is his scalp donor thin, scanty, but also there is miniaturization, extensive miniaturization, leaving us very few robust grafts for the hair transplant. You could also appreciate that the safe donor zone, the permanent donor zone of the scalp is seriously constricted. So with these challenges and extensive baldness, at age of 60, patient wants a head full of hair. So where do you get the extra hair from? The extra hair were got from the shadow area of the beard, from his sideburns, as well as the chest. And over a two day procedure, we were able to strategically place these grafts to give him an illusion of fullness. Now, and that was not all he wanted. He wanted to look and feel better. He wanted to rejuvenate his face. The crease lines on his forehead, the visible signs of aging on his face and his hanging jowls, which was done through Botox, fillers and threads. So I won't keep you hanging. Watch his result after surgical hair restoration, after rejuvenation of the face. Over to Mr. Kim. I came to Dr. Barty's surgery uh, in July 22 and I didn't have much hair. I was about Norwood grade 7 and um, I've come back 18 months later to have a second procedure and I'm very, very happy so far with my first procedure, especially as some of my friends or a colleague of mine went to Turkey and didn't have a good result at all. So uh, I'm hoping this one's going to be very good as well and um, fingers crossed and all the best Dr. Barty and his team are all wonderful. So if you see his before and after pictures, you would appreciate that the glow on his face is not only because of a successful hair transplant. There is much more rejuvenation that has been done besides the surgical hair restoration. The patient has received Botox, fillers, 
to erase his lines as much as possible and also a thread lift to give him a much more youthful look. And that is the secret of the glow on his face. So at 18 months, Mr. Kim is a happy man and he has come now to get his crown area filled and a little bit top up done in the areas where he thinks that he needs more coverage. Mr. Kim chose not to embrace his aging but to utilize non-surgical, rejuvenative, restorative techniques that were minimally invasive to restore his youthful look so that he could age gracefully. Diffuse pattern alopecia is a form of alopecia, a severe form of alopecia in which not only do you lose hair in a pattern form over the head but also the scalp donor area which otherwise is considered permanent becomes compromised. Diffuse pattern alopecia needs to be prepared before the hair transplant for over a period of four to six months and at times one year before it is fit robust enough to withstand a hair transplant procedure so that with minimal wastage of grafts the patient can have a result that gives him modest coverage and a youthful look. Mr. Kim is not at all hesitant in narrating his experiences at Darling Buds, telling the Darling Buds audience on this channel about his experiences with the clinic, his experiences with a hair transplant in India. So thank you for watching. If you have any question about Mr. Kim's procedure, any question about hair transplant, any question about facial rejuvenation, do let me know. I'll be happy to answer. Thank you again for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It will be highly appreciated and God bless you.